on what people there are saying about our new commander in chief. And good afternoon to you. The U.S. election is what many people here in Tijuana have been talking about. President-elect Donald Trump's vision right here along the U.S.-Mexico border. Over the last six years, Enrique Chu has put a lot of effort into hiding the 18-foot fence that divides Mexico from the United States. Now it's like rusty wall, ugly wall, you know? That, I want to just to make something nicer, you know? The artist who moved to Tijuana from San Diego 10 years ago is creating a mural that stretches about 20 city blocks. He's making it appear as if there is no wall to help bring people from both regions together. I think it's uh, very important to the people get together and things so we can we can make it, you know, we can we can make it happen whatever we want here. They try to make something happen here better. The Mexican government allows him to paint on the fence as long as it's on the Mexico side. U.S. officials have denied his request to paint on the American side. For them, there's really a, a wall, you know, to limit from the country. But for us, it's, we don't, it's, I know, we know it's a wall, but I, we try to make something different. He worries his colorful message will be for nothing if President-elect Donald Trump gets his wish and builds another wall here. His defeat over Hillary Clinton has everyone talking about that possibility. Donald Trump, for me, no good, man. It's going to be harder for the people in Mexico. Some people, they really scared. Even like now, the dollar is going up, you know, for people who who pay rent like me in dollars is really, really bad, you know, for us. But for this artist, he sees a potential wall as an opportunity to paint. If he put another wall, we're going to paint it, you know? We're going to, it's another canvas to do something else. 800 artists from Mexico and the U.S. have already signed up to help paint the mural. Work here is scheduled to start in December. Reporting from Tijuana, Carlos Correa, CW6 News.